So here we've got a flex hound brush. Now this is specifically for a 7.3 liter power stroke. If you're doing one, there is the part number. It is a 4 and 1 8 inch or 105 millimeter diameter flex hound bore brush. So the uh, power stroke engine is a uh, 4.11 inch bore. And so there's what the brush looks like. You got lots of these brushes with this this uh, stone-like material on it, and they will take off the rust and restore the cross hatches. Um, you can either go and buy their lubricant that you use with this, or you can use regular old 10W30 motor oil. Um, you know, Walmart's got the best cheap motor oil for junk like this. Just don't actually use it in your car for anything. <laughs> Um, so I was doing some reading and it says that um, on the first cylinder that you use this on that it's going to use a lot of more oil than the other cylinders. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get me a bucket or something, stick this in it and pour the oil and kind of soak it in the oil for a couple minutes before we get started on this project. Okay, so I got my ball home. What I'm going to do is dip my hand in some 10W30 there. What about that cylinder wall? And uh, what you want to do is uh, run in about 15 or 20 seconds, just a good up and down motion. And uh, when you make sure to retract the hone from the cylinder wall, make sure that your drill's still going. Otherwise, you're going to wind up some scratches you didn't like. So here we go. Okay, well, I didn't realize that my drill battery was dying, but uh, I'll tell you what, Ryobi doesn't make drill batter or make their batteries like they used to. So I can tell you that I can definitely already see a huge, nice, beautiful difference since we ran that ball home flex brush through there. This looks very nice. if you can really see in there well or not because it's starting to get later on in the day maybe if I spin the engine out a little bit but you can see it's got new cross hatches in it I will run the tool again through it because I'm sure that wasn't six to eight hundred rpms that, that it was doing but that looks a whole lot better than that um, there pretty much aren't any cross hatches in this block. I mean, I can see some really tiny faint ones, but what I see more of is scratch marks running up and down. I don't know if you can see that or not, but um, we definitely have cross hatches now in this one, and that looks great. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you that forty, fifty dollars for one of these home tools is way better than using the uh, the blade setup that you have to get perfectly center and all that because this is a self-centering tool any uh, backyard mechanic can uh, churn out professional looking results with that so here I got my drill charged up a little more guys let's go in here and do this cylinder some more you watching yeah and there that cylinder's done Shiny. Yeah. And that that cylinder, do it again.
you're putting on? It's motor oil. Uh, you have to lubricate it so it'll cut it right. Uh, Okay. Nice shine. Yeah. Now I'm not going to wipe the oil off of these until after I sand the uh, deck surface off and then I'll just clean it all off at once. So thank you so much for watching this very short video, and I hope you all are having yourselves a great week. And as always, my friends and viewers and brethren, praise the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. May richly bless God you, and I hope you have yourselves a wonderful rest of your week. And those of you that are my enemies, I even love you too, and God bless you too. Have a great day.